Nick, how was it just being back home for this one day stop, now getting ready for another stretch of the road trip? Just how was it for you to kind of unpack and pack again? It was just a quick tease. I mean, <laughs> I felt like we just got here and now we're heading out again. But it was nice to be back in New York for a day and kind of recoup and then get back on the road. What was important just about today's practice, even though it might, might have just been a tease, but what was it important for you guys to kind of get back on the court and just focus in on just yourselves? Just trying to get the vibes, right? Having a good win last game against Cleveland and trying to build off of that. That's, that's our challenge. We, we've, we've won a game or two in the past and then had bad showing. So just, just trying to um, just stay locked in for real. How do you guys now try to take that Cleveland game and now bring that same energy into this next stretch of this road trip? Because obviously after you know back-to-backs, you guys have you know kind of struggled a little bit, but how do you guys take that good energy and bring it down the rest of this road trip? Just weathering whatever storm there may be, it, no matter if we're making shots, missing shots, just keeping our energy right, keeping our focus right. In Orlando, they beat us by like 40 last game, so we got to be ready. You know, they, they're going to try to do the same thing, and we, we got to be ready. What kind of adjustments do you envision, you know, from the last time you all faced Orlando? Is it strictly an energy thing or something more schematic that you guys might do? The last game, we, we kind of got pumped there. They just played with a lot more energy than us. And, you know, if, you, if you're not playing with energy in the NBA, you're not going to win games. So we definitely got to just come out and have our energy right, focus on, on the game plan. Is it good to see Cam again, just to see, just to see how he's doing, and just see him back out here again? Yeah, I think he, he almost healed, so I think he should be back, should be back soon. So I'm here. What, what kind of challenge do the Magic present, other than you know just energy? What kind of challenge do they uh, present? They got a lot of young players. They are well coached. I think they're a top five defense. They really do a good job putting a lot of pressure on the rim. So you really have to guard your yard, and they got a lot of different dudes that can you know, go out and score 20 plus points. Just, when you look at what you guys did defensively in that Cleveland game after some struggles prior, is it frustrating almost to see that you guys are capable of putting out that kind of performance after you're struggling against some of the bottom teams in the league right before that? Well, Cleveland, Cleveland's missing a lot of players right now. So I think, you know, it'd be better if we can come out and have a showing like that against a team like Orlando. You just really got to have short-term memory. And, and we know what we're capable of doing, especially, like I said, when we're making shots. But we just got to have our energy consistent no matter what's going on. When you look at your season personally to this point, what are some areas you feel like you've improved? Are you meeting kind of the goals you set? Just take me through where you're at personally. Personally, I think I'm meeting my goals. I mean, you know, it's been, it's been tough. New coaches, new players, new systems. But I'm just, I'm doing the best that I can. You know, there's always areas in the game where I can improve, where I've had dips throughout the season, whether it's offensive rebounding, whether it's protecting the rim. Um, so it's always ways to improve, but I'm definitely, I'm doing my thing. Blake K.O. said a couple days ago that this is kind of the fourth quarter of you guys' season. You've always talked about the urgency. Um, with so many games left, I think it was 16, 15, how do you guys, I guess, how are you guys preparing for that? Is it one game at a time, or do you recognize that every game always means more, but it means a little bit more as you get closer to game 80, game 82? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to stay in the present, one game at a time. We can't, we can't worry about all the games we've lost so far this season. We can't focus on how many games we need to win. We just got to take it one game at a time. And, you know, right now that's Orlando, so that's our challenge. Um, teams. You know, definitely, they think they can come out and like and punk us and beat us. So we really, we really got to come out and hit first. What have you felt with uh, Dennis Schroeder? Just you guys look like you're starting to work that connection on the pick and roll and some other other areas of the game. What's it been like these last things? Fourteen games, just having him run the point guard spot. It's been great. He really just he, he treats the game right. He's a he's a true competitor, and he holds everybody accountable. He's a winner. Um, he has really good work habits. He works on his body a lot. Um, and then we just we just trying to figure it out right now. It's all starting to come together. It's it's tough being thrown in at the middle of the season, but it's all starting to come together. Are you guys kind of taking it personal, like you said, when you, when you feel like teams can make them punk you like that? Is it a personal, like taking it personal? I can't speak for anybody else, but for myself, yeah. Uh, being on a lot of different teams in the not a lot of different teams, but just being here and seeing how it is when you consistently win the games. And then you come out and you lose, and the other team's smiling. You know, you 
you hate to see that as a competitor. So, yeah, you definitely take it personally.